Hi and welcome to my first video tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how to interface a light emitting diode to a PIC16 F8778. So we are going to use two applications for this. The first one will be the micro C compiler for PIC and the second one would be the ICs. The Proteus. This is the interface for that one. So here this is the micro C compiler. This is where we are going to encode all the codes that we are going to need for the execution of those commands. So first is we are going to choose the directory where we are going to save the files. So this is where we are going to save it. This is my choice. My choice directory. We have led hello world. So let's go back to the micro C compiler and then let's create a new project for this. So project and then choose new project. So have here the name, let hello world, and then the project path where would we would like the project to be saved and then the description, the short description of a project and then the device that you're going to use. So we have a lot of devices here. We're just going to use this one and the clock. And then after that, these are the device flags for the particular device that we have chosen. Let's just choose default and then let's press OK. So after pressing OK, a new file will be opened which is which has the same name of the um, name of the project that we have chosen. So this is the file where we're going to encode all the executions that's going to happen to our PIC. So allow me to encode, to put, put all the execution that needs to be done. Okay, let me just pause it. Now I'm done. So this program tells us that we are going to use port B as an output. And this is going to run forever. Now port B, this is, um, this makes the LED have a blinking behavior. You can see here. So if ever the LED is on, on the next cycle it will shall be turned off. This is this is uh, the purpose of that not sign that is put before point B here. Now a delay of 100 millisecond uh, in between the turning on and turning off of the LED. Okay, so now we are done. Let's save that one and then. We're going to build it. So, why? Because we need the hex file. The hex file is what we're going to use to load this program to the peak. So, as you can see, we only have here, we have hello world.c and we have hello world.ppc. So, after we're going to build it, we're going to have a hex file. So, let's build it now. I can either choose this one or we can choose the, the one under the project menu. So, let's just have a build. And then let's check that out. Okay, as you can see, there have been a lot of other files generated. So this is the one that we would need for the simulator or even for the real device. We need the hex file. Now let's go to the to our simulator and then let's choose the devices that we are going to be using. So we have here peak 16F, 877A, enter. And then we also need the LED. Mm, LED, Optical Electronics, and I'm going to choose red. This is the most common. And then I'll just press OK. Now, OK. So let's zoom it in. And let's zoom that in. OK, I still want to zoom it in. I'm going to closer look at it. OK, that much better. And then let's put all the lead into place. Let's now connect. Oops. Let's now connect the lead to the peak. And then let's connect the lead to a ground. Okay, now that's done. We are now ready to load the hex file. So we have here program file. So this is where we are going to load the hex file. So let's go to the directory where it is saved. 
okay and then press okay after that let's run it and let's see how it behaves as you can see it blinks on and off on and off okay now the simulator I mean the peak in the simulator does not need um, the basic circuit in order for it to run of course it's a simulator so if you would like to have a faster blinking of this one you need to uh, decrease the value here if you want to have a greater um, greater time length before between each blinking then you need to have a greater value here okay so i hope that's clear thank you for watching